Hello my friends and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Civilization 3 as Carthage. Now, as you remember from our first episode, we have come into this world, made our capital, and we are now settling our southern region before moving north into the Great Unknown, which we've lost two warriors um, exploring, so it's, it's dangerous up there. Also, we're exploring the sea. And uh, we've discovered two other people so far. Okay, we need to um, build our settler now. Yeah, we gotta expand quick. And why not put you where our next city is going to be? Namely, right here. Yep, that is where you will be. Next city probably the only landlocked city that we're going to have. We gotta watch out for those volcanoes, as I probably stated already. Our boats might kiss again, but that's okay. Okay. Oh no, not again. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty constant thing, you know. Oh, also, I just realized, while we have despotism, Irrigation essentially has no effect because anything over 2 has a minus 1 modifier. So if you go from 2 to 3, you're effectively going from 2 to 2. But that's not going to be a situation that's going to persist. We are going to be um, getting a new form of government eventually. Oh, wait, who did I see? Oh, those are just the Chinese again, and I think they're fighting barbs. Okay, so up we go. Yep, barb encampment. The barbs are holding firm. Can we go through here? We can. Or, it appears that we can. Alright, so yes, our next city will be here. And we're going to form our new city of... Leptis Magna. It's pretty rad. Now, we cannot build... Oh, we can build temples. Might as well start that. I mean, food is going to be a problem, so... And, you know, you can't have food if people aren't working, and they can't work if they're not happy. Those will just complain all the time. Alright, I want you to go this way. Yeah, you can move them into the sea tiles, you just can't move them through the sea tiles. Alright. I always find the initial exploration and settlement to be the most exciting part of the game. It's, a, it's something that's special and fun. And then, of course, you get into the bigger, um, the bigger things later on. When you get into big wars and all that. Okay, nothing else over there. However, we have spotted land here. Whoa. I don't know if my eyes are deceiving me, but that's a much bigger volcano than we got over there. That has to be a, a new class of volcano. Just has to be. It says volcano. This says volcano also. Hmm. But it's different. It doesn't look the same. So it's got to be something grander than a regular volcano. Oh, we have more cities being settled down here. They're actually closer to us on the west than the east. Okay. You... Yeah, let's build a second one. Why not? Because we need to march up here and start causing some pain. And we are, of course, going to need new units for exploration. Okay, what I want you to do... You can trace the route of your friend, but you're going to go the other way. Alright, so 
you are good. We're gonna start the water train going on down here. We're gonna have to clear out another forest, but that's okay. Cultural influence is expanding again. Wait a minute. Oh wait, no, that's our dude. <laughs> For a second, the um the light purple, the lilac or thistle or whatever you'd call that color, was um uh distracting me and making me think it was somebody else. And I'm like, wait a minute, who's over here? Who dares approach my continent? Because I, I I'm pretty sure the first priority is going to be to secure this landmass, unless it's like really big up here. Okay. Look how much one worker has done all by himself. I, I think he deserves a medal. Okay. One, two... There is more land over there, but I don't think we can get to it safely, so... Oh, look what we have here. He has an attack of two and a defense of three. Two is still higher than one, so why not... Yeah, we have to burst our way forward. Yeah, I can go one, two... If I start here, I can go one, two, three, so yeah, we can't be going over there just yet without taking some risks, and taking needless risk is not something we uh, care to do right now. Alright, we're going to fortify you. No need in risking your life needlessly, you know? Alright, Settler has been built. Time for a Numidian, Numidian mercenary. Okay. So, only landlocked city in the country most likely will be you. Very good. <laughs> he has like an evil laugh while taking it. Which is funny because he's a good guy. He's on our side. So, naturally, he's automatically a good guy. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Palace expansion. Yes. We're going to have a great floor first for our palace. Um, Alright. Byzantines, let's trade. You have this, I have that. Ooh. You pain me. You pain me, my, uh, my neighbor. But we can cut this down. In Civ 5, when they suggest something to you, they're probably not going to be cut down. But in Civ uh, 3, you can cut them down, so... Okay, good. Now we discuss it with China. Get ready for pain. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm never going to... Okay, well, we need more. Because that's worth a lot of money, writing is. But pottery... Mmm... You know what? We gotta look at this. Because writing was, like, way more valuable than pottery. Like, a lot more. So... How about... Go to hell... And we've, but we've got to go for map making, so let's do that next. And then we can buy and sell our way to other stuff. Eventually we're going to definitely want probably Republic. But we can, uh, we can uh, get there when we get there, I guess. By the way, if we talk to Byzantines again... Yeah, we're all equal on tech. Uh, I actually like the ability to get some money. Okay, we're going to build a new settler. And we want to be able to use this whale, so we need to put him here. Not here, but here. So, you go up there in your next location. Alright, you fortify, and then you will go onward to discover new stuff. Alright, well, we're going to irrigate this land, and that will be 
enough irrigation for you. You'll be building road after that. Okay. A lot of marsh on this island. Oh boy. Well, let's let's fight him. I think it's the dude who killed our other dude earlier. Sylvest. Sylvester Salone. It's going to be formed here, and let's go ahead with the temple. We'll actually prioritize that over barracks in a lot of our new cities. Alright, good. Sucks to be you. Oh no, not again. Ugh. Well, we'll be building a temple after this settler for sure. Alright, and we'll see how far this continent goes. I'm kind of like torn between wanting it to be really big and not so big, because if it's really big, we'll have a lot of land that's reachable by a railroad instantly once we get to that point. But if it's too big, we won't be able to fill it all before someone else comes along, plus we might lose out on some of these nearby islands. We definitely want this um, source of iron. So, yeah. So picking and choosing is going to be a thing that we have to uh, contend with. All right, build that road. We'll get the horses on our way there. Oh, more baddies. And we have once again said hello to China. They might tell us to get out of their territory, so prepare for more ouch. Oh. Man. You know what I think it is? China's mad at me for not picking them. Remember, I did say that I was considering picking China for this game, and as punishment, they're making noise in my ear every time I talk to them. That's my theory. Okay, we killed that dude without getting hurt, so... Let's march him along here. How did he get two movement points? Or, I guess that was, um, two different turns. Just the appearance of movement points. And if you excuse me, I'm going to save. Yeah, saving constantly is an important thing. Oh, we have, we have friends over here. Oh, actually, let's say hello to our friends first. All right, Babylon, hello. Mysticism for, let's see. Ooh. Horseback riding is more their speed. Give us money, give us some money. We like money. You like to spend it. On that basis, we understand each other. Okay. 24 gold, Hammurabi. So, let's talk to the Byzantines again. Oh my goodness. Okay, well let's talk to the Chinese first. Ouch warning, ouch warning. Okay, China, what do you want? Oh, you don't have crap, China, you suck. All right, Byzantines. Will you take both? Okay, which one is, this is the one that's a lot, right? Man, yeah, they are not gonna be parting with Code of Laws. So, we can take philosophy though, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, it's going to be steep, but huh, I think we might be able to do it. Yeah, and we can actually cut them down quite a bit, too. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We, went, we overshot, I think. Okay. We're being extremely picky about this. All right. 
And if I, that means code of laws is the only thing that we don't have from you. China, you're useless. We're not clicking on you. Babylon, you have nothing. We have writing, but. Hmm. Oop, let's not trade cities. Will you pay me? You know, we might as well sell this to them because the only reason it's being valued so low is probably because they're researching it and they're close. So, we will be doing that. Very good. Yes, tech trading in Civ 3 is an extremely important part of the game. Like, I cannot overstate how important it is. We ignored it at our own peril last time and we suffered the consequences. No, don't worry about Hammer, Hammer, Hammer Brother. We'll be, um, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. We'll all have a fine party. You can call us the Fine Bros. Wait, no, don't call us that. Okay, I don't want to get sued. Oh, okay. You are going to build a temple now, capital. And here comes our new city. And you, hmm. Okay. We're going to send you all the way here. So get ready for a journey. As for you, your journey is a lot closer at hand. Oh, somebody new. No! Oh, no, we're fine. Oh, hi, Egypt. Let's talk. They're a lot more advanced, or we are a lot more advanced than they are. And map making is going to take forever. But once we do it, we can make bank. Mm. Yeah, man, that's a long, a long time to go. This continent never ends. Ooh, excellent. I like horses. Oh, shut up, Egypt. We just met you and you're already complaining at us. It's annoying of you. Well, let's build Hippo. And Hippo, we're going to get all templed up in this bizach because we need to be um, generating that happiness and culture. Okay. Only one piece of road needed to connect to that city, too. I want to build cities at a faster rate. I feel like we're doing it a little bit slowly. I feel like other countries are overtaking us in the city building department. I'm going to be obsessively looking at the Byzantines because they're our biggest tech rival. And they might be our biggest rival, period. I mean, oh, that's Palace, but no. Well, we're not going to be building a spaceship anytime soon, but, um, yeah, well, this is the one we really need. Byzantines have the most area. And they have the highest score, although it's a really close field at this point, like it usually is, so. Oh, look. Hello, India. Ow. Okay. You're on the ouch train, just like China, and you also have nothing good for us. So, prepare to hear that sound several more times. And we're gonna beat this dude. Ooh, rough going. Okay, <laughs> go away. I think it, it has to be, it has to be, um, Asian sieves that do that. Because that's the one thing they have in common. Okay, you can go here to sit for our new city so that he can get all this good stuff. 
And yes, we do have fresh water that will eventually be able to irrigate to you. So our efforts to grow are going well. All right, yeah, I'm just looking around to seeing where the city after this is going to be placed. But yeah, you must fortify until you are healed. Oh, we're going to be in Indian territory a while longer. So prepare for ouch again, guys. <laughs> I, I really do apologize for that. It's, just, it's really funny, though. <laughs> okay, well, it's time for you to build a road over the mountain. You brave soul. Ooh. Those Byzantines, man. They're doing a good job. Something down there. Okay, we'll go down there next turn. See what it is. Alright, time to keep wailing on this encampment. Oh, more dudes are there. More land. So let, let's see. So far we have one, two, three, four people we've met. Which means that there are still three out there that we have to meet. So you guys and you guys. You both have code of laws. Or did I check Byzantines twice? I might have done that. Babylon. Yeah, no. Well, if we keep to a point where we can be at on parity with everyone in tech, then that's good. Yeah, die. All right. Well, that victory is a good place to leave off. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is our fledgling little empire. And I hope that you are enjoying this because I think that we are having a great start so far. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.